Hello, welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. I'm joined by Gary Curran, Hugh Murray, and obviously Gary Spain. Um, we are here basically speaking about James McLean and the abuse he's been receiving. The PFAI have come out in defence of James, or I suppose standing with him. They came out with a statement uh, yesterday, I believe, and the statement read The championship match between Huddersfield and Stoke City was halted yesterday due to Secretary Enchanted aimed at James McLean. James has been subjected to this type of vile abuse throughout his career and he will be fully supported in the same way as any other individual who receives abuse based on their race, religion or nationality. The PFA have previously advised James to report Secretary Chanting to match officials and we are satisfied that in this instance the protocol was enacted. However, this action in isolation is not sufficient. We welcome that Huddersfield have committed to a full investigation to identify offenders. We hope that the perpetrators will face further consequences from both within and outside the game. In addition, as with other forms of discrimination, it has become clear that this type of abuse is on the rise and has become a weekly occurrence for James. We will be talking to PGMO and the EFL to ensure that match officials are vigilant to this type of chanting and hope to see future action taken proactively on James' behalf. There is no justification for this or any other type of abuse and the PFA, PFA stands fully beside every player who faces discrimination. So, Gary, what do you think about that? Um, I mean, you've, you've been at a lot of football games and you kind of, I'd imagine over the years and early years you would have seen a lot of abuse, but what, what, what do you think? I suppose it's nice to see the PFA, not I, uh, stand up for James McLean. Yeah, but first of all, it's, it's great the PFA came out with the statement. Yeah, Paul, as you said, I've been going to football for more years than I care to remember. Not to make you sound all, but okay. yeah, <laughs> right. I mean, and I suppose I'll start with it used to be a lot worse. No, and I, 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 one thing that probably brought to mind, because it brought to mind recently, after we played England in Wembley in 91, I, I stayed on with a friend of mine. We went to Chelsea Leeds on the following Saturday, and... Uh, my mate was, it was his first English league game and we just sat in the old West Stand benches in, in Stamford Bridge and I suppose he was just totally taken aback with the, it was the racist abuse of the, the Leeds players, Leeds had three or four black players, Leeds won, they won 2-1 but it was about a 4 or 5-1 really, they were 2 nil up coasting and uh, he was just totally taken aback and then I suppose and he kind of threw me a bit because he was shocked that I wasn't as shocked. And maybe because I'd been to other games and seen it and maybe become immune to it. Um, and I think in some ways we've maybe become immune to, the, to, to some of it lately. And it's actually good to see it being called out. It was called out for Raheem Sterling. It was, it, it's been... The England Bulgaria game springs to mind. There's, it's a few times lately. It's actually something's been done about it. I mean, I really wish we were talking about James's pass for the fifth goal, on, which was brilliant, by the way, on on Wednesday. But um, I mean, he was abused. It's not right. Um, it needs to be stopped. It it has been going on for quite a while. It's, um, been, it's been going on, I'd say, at least in a decade, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not sure exactly when he signed for Sunderland, but not long after, I suppose, maybe he left or while he was there. I'm sure, like, he has been receiving a lot of abuse. I mean, some people say he brings it on himself, but I don't really see how, as, uh, like, I really don't. No, and I mean, okay, and I think just, just to call out exactly, and I mean, I've seen some stuff on, on Twitter and saying, why is it abuse? Because my understanding of what was actually said was uh, when he went to take a corner, when he went near the Huddersfield fans, they were chanting F, and I'm not yeah. sure I can say this, but F the IRA. Now, um, I don't think James brings it on himself. Um, I know he, he has been very vocal on and, and, and why he doesn't wear a poppy, and he's perfectly entitled not to wear a poppy. Um, maybe he could have been advised not to be as vocal or something. I mean, I, I, you take players like the Mandramatic 
uh, doesn't wear a poppy. Jon Snow on, on, on TV doesn't wear one. And I don't think they get the, well, they don't, sorry, I don't think they don't get anything like the abuse James gets. Um, but I mean, it is a free country. He is entitled to, to his opinions. Uh, and, I and, and his beliefs. And his beliefs. Yeah. And, and, and just to be clear, I, James has, to the best of my knowledge, never expressed support for the IRA. In fact, he won a, a libel award against uh, a politician, I think it was, I actually better not name him just in case. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, a politician had to pay a significant five figure sum to James in compensation for accusing him of being anyway and again I, I need to anywhere related well, yeah. anyway related or repeating what was uh, what was a, an abuse and an insult as well and uh, so um, yeah and I think it's wrong and I mean it's probably wrong and maybe the, the, the way to equate this because I've seen a lot of people on, on Twitter saying well why is it wrong to say F the IRA well it's wrong to say it at, at an Irish person. I mean, if I walk down the street and if I say to you, Paul, F ISIS, yeah. um, is that wrong? I don't think that's wrong. If I go out the door and say it to a Muslim man, I think it is very wrong. Yeah. No, and I mean, they may say, well, I don't support ISIS, of course you do. Um, but I don't know, maybe I'm not explaining it very well, but that's... I think that's are. why it's abuse and that's why it's wrong and that's why I'm glad the PFAI came out and made the statement. PFA. Uh, PFA, sorry, I'm getting it wrong as well. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so fair play to the PFA. Um, Just to clarify, the PFAI look after Irish players and yeah. I mean, the Irish players <laughs> okay. come over here as well. So that's where the, the mistake is. We're not yeah. actually mistaking the name. Okay, yeah. And, uh, and, and actually, one of the other things I did was I... I went on the Stoke message board last night and they were, um, there's a lot of support for James on that, which is good. And uh, they really, he's actually playing really well for them at the moment. And he's been, he's been injured and he's playing through the pain barrier and uh, he, he's getting good support on that, which is, is good to see because I've actually, the last two Premier League games I've been to have actually been Huddersfield, Watford and Stoke Crystal Palace. And uh, so I'm actually a bit familiar to some extent with the, the sets of fans there. And Stoke is, it's a very, it's a working class area. They're very much, uh, I'd say north of England, it's probably the Potteries, but it's, um, it's a working class town. It's very much an army town as well. So um, maybe in some ways people were saying it was a strange choice for James to go there, but he certainly won over the fans there. Um, Huddersfield, again, um, in, in Yorkshire, it's a very much, again, working class fans. They've, they've actually a lovely stadium there in Huddersfield. But, um, it wasn't just Huddersfield now as well, by the way. Uh, no, I think it was Sheff right. Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah, no, well. I, that's, uh, yeah it's been, I suppose Huddersfield is the one that's been called out. Yeah. I think it happened to Sheffield Wednesday and somebody else. I can't remember the, yeah. the third team. Stevens there. Stay, yeah, yeah I I so it's the, the, first time, the first time really it's actually been called out, I think, by the PFA. Yeah. Well, he's, he, well, James did the press conference back when we played in Denmark and he did say that he had been contacted uh, by the PFA to uh, about this sort of stuff so the, around november he said you know he's not enough to admit when when someone are helping because it's taking this long but mm. people are trying to get touch to help you know so that's suppose okay. that's kind of maybe where the the yeah. pfai kind of have actually came out publicly and support because i think they came to him privately yeah no and and, and the other thing I, I see as well at, also on wednesday <clears> at brighton <throat> chelsea both sets of, there was is it two home fans and one away fan were both charged with homophobic abuse and uh, I think one with racist abuse as well. Um, there's been racist abuse of Raheem Sterling, there's been people charged with that. Just to come back to James for the moment, the, um, this is the first time I've seen it that big, like you were saying there a few minutes ago, that big, like all over Twitter, all over Facebook, all over the news. I, I think it's maybe the first time I've seen RTE you know, put, put this up. I think it's because of the announcement in the stadium, do you know, because we've been seeing yeah. videos going around of you know fan abuse and these camera phone videos of James getting abused, taking corners or hitting free kicks or anything like that. Um, for I haven't seen it for a couple games. of years. Yeah. You know, yeah. even after games, you know, yeah. and he has to he has to be the one to come out and explain this every single time on his Facebook and his social media. And that should never be the case. 
Yeah. Anyway, remember so, you had to put out a, a statement. As yeah, well, yeah, which is which is absolutely crazy. Like you, you players shouldn't have to do that. Players shouldn't have to go sure. near that. And that sure. actually was abuse from his own fans. It, from his own fans as well. But like like you said there earlier, he's playing fantastic football now. But that should not be an excuse not to abuse him from his own fans as well. They have to get behind him regardless mm-hmm. of how he's playing. Even if he's not playing, if he's injured yeah. or you know if he's if he's if he's out for a couple of weeks or he's underperforming, that's when you have to be supporting him. You know the most and backing your players because we have seen there is fans in every club. That are willing to abuse their own players like that, like 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 these 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 plastic fans and these these glass fans. So I think that you know, a few Ireland fans. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So uh, Paul McShane, Glenn, <laughs> Glenn Whelan, we can go on yeah. being, come on. It's, <laughs> so so it is it is good that it's being talked about now. Yeah. But I think it, it was literally the announcement that that made yeah. the news. You know, the, it was you know yeah, Jay, yeah Jay, fair play to the ref though too. Absolutely brilliant. And you know the two managers that come have come yeah. out to, for support for James since it's it's great. Like but. You know, just because he performed well doesn't mean that you know that that's the reason why he shouldn't be abused by his own fans. Well. It's actually it's a good point, Gary, because it's actually far worse when it comes from yeah. your own fans. I mean, mm. in some cases you can take it and you can laugh at the opposition. I mean, Stoke one five two was a crucial win for them. Mm. Um, it, I think he's one of our best worse. players now. Really. He has, yeah. he has, yeah, yeah. Michael O'Neill, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, but he's done a fantastic job as well. But it's. It's worse. It's so much worse when you get it from your own fans. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, you'd be heartbroken. Like, you'd be absolutely heartbroken. Like, he went there and he stayed with them. You know, obviously when they went down. And I'm sure he had any sign for when they went down. Oh, when they went down. But like, you know, there you go. That's even even better case. He went down. He dropped the level to 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 help them out. And you know what? If his performance are are up to it, then I don't see why he should be. Mm. Should be substituted. Yeah, well, actually, maybe getting back to his performance, he, he had been our standout player for the 2018 World Cup campaign. I, I think his performance is probably at club level and international level had dipped a bit yeah. of lately. So it's actually great to see him back mm. in recent weeks. Uh, and he could be a really crucial player for us come March. Yeah. I think it's really yeah. crucial that yeah. the Ireland fans get really, really behind James McLean because particularly if the PFA didn't get behind him and make the statement, I think he wouldn't know where to turn with his own fans turning against him. Well, not um, all of them. Just, not I not think there was a bit of a divide. Yeah. I, it was. I think there's more fans supporting him, but there was a a, a uh, minority. He singled out a, a portion of yeah. of an area. I don't know where they sit. I don't know the the the, the stadium. Mm. I've never been there, but. A certain uh, portion of the stadium were abusing him, and he thanked the other ones mm. who got behind him. So yeah. it wasn't a case of yeah, you know not. all of them were just going you're this and that, whatever. Um, but anyway, uh, uh, like how how do you get people to stop? Do you do you ban them? Do you do? You, I think it's important do you, that do, they recognise it. It's a form of racism as such. Do you know what I mean, there's been multiple campaigns launched for people, like players like Raheem Sterling, who have been subject to a lot of racial abuse because mm. this is a form of racism and it has to be recognised on the same level as that, the importance of those campaigns as well yeah. so I think unless you bring it to that level it's not going to be stopped it's um, something that's unfortunately embedded in football right now and they have to really stamp it out whatever way they can as best they can I think we're taking responsibility here as well just by talking about the Irish media have to you know it, every time this happens we have to bring it up yeah. you know we have to stay sane and we have to stay drilling it in because it can happen and I remember a couple of years ago like I was saying there, there was videos going around and it was kind of just you know, Grant he be alright, he's over there and stuff, he's making all the money, he's grand. But like that's not that's not yeah. a thing, that's okay. not an excuse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what that's not forgetting as well. Like you've seen numerous times his wife Erin has put up stuff where she's getting abused yeah. online and she's doing nothing. Yeah, absolutely yeah. nothing wrong. Ridiculous. Yeah. Like it's 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 ridiculous that it's come to this. But it's great that threats and stuff. Yeah, it's 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 great to see like, you know, a lot of Irish, you know, big media corporations now doing the story, retweeting it, showing the video. You know, releasing the statement from the from the PFA, like you need that, you need to you need that, you need to drill it in because it is an issue and it can be dealt with if it's if it's handled properly. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's not. And it's a good point. It's not exactly. It doesn't matter how much they're earning. It's not right. I mean, Raheem Sterling is one of the best played, best paid footballers in the world, but it's still wrong. Yeah. I I wonder is there something around education? I I saw something actually. Now, appreciate this would cost quite a bit. But uh, there's been huge issues between Chelsea and Tottenham and there's been, uh, there's a guy called Dan Levine on Twitter calling out, there's a lot of anti-Semitic stuff has come from Chelsea fans and some, what actually Chelsea did was took some of the fans and actually brought them to Auschwitz and they actually interviewed them, I saw some of the coverage uh, as well and it it was probably an eye-opener for them and they were probably saying, well, we're not really anti-Semitic. 
I don't know if there's some sort of an education stuff that could be done, whether it's the Huddersfield fans or whatever, to say, look, this is wrong and what you're doing and do you understand why it's offensive and uh, I don't know, maybe there's something there. Uh, appreciate there's a cost involved there. Um, but Realistically, I don't, yeah. I don't think Stoke are in a financial situation to, to be paying for people to come over and I don't think they... I don't think they particularly would do it, okay. but uh, it's not a bad idea. I, I yeah. like it, and if they do have it, and they <coughs> maybe follow up on it, happy days. But uh, I don't know. Even if you bring the people in and give them an educational video or show them videos or something like that, maybe send them up to Leitrim for bring a week. <laughs> I, 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 I reckon as a start, anyway, they could they could definitely start implementing bans or fines or something because it's it's the same with general racism or racism towards players' colours, you know, there's, there's lifetime bans and eight-year bans and so on and so forth coming in and it's, it's become a criminal offence now, you know, there's, there's been player, there's been yeah. fans arrested and brought to police stations. I think it has to be on the same level. It has to be recognised as, as as important as that and where else they're not going to do much, I don't think. It probably is an education problem as well, but there has to be something taken away from them or penalties or something. I don't, I don't know Because mm-hmm. it will happen again, do you know? Yeah, absolutely. Like, there's a lot of people now in it, like, Let's say those fans, those that minority group of fans that that do that, that that see this as coverage for them as well, which is bad, you know. And they're yeah. saying, "Look, we can get into James's head, but if we come on out and support him, and he knows how to handle this as well, which is a bad thing to say, if if you know what I mean, you know, he knows that he has to come out with a statement and say, look, thanks to the fans.'" And, you know, there's always came off social media for yeah. the abuse. He's been off it now for which is terrible as well. Do you know, it's yeah. been off yeah. for eight months. I know. No That's, uh, so yeah. I think this is the way we, we have to handle it with. with our media and, no, and, and part of the and I, I, I don't want to say the issue but James is one of those players he wears his heart on his sleeve and I mean yeah what you see is what you get it's right yeah what you see what you get and he's a totally committed player so he's one of those players I mean you can see why the, the Stoke fans love him yeah and uh, he's also one of those players that um, antagonises maybe maybe I'm, I'm struggling for the right words here but I think I hope people understand what I mean that he's somebody that He's a great guy to have in your team when you see him in the opposition team. Yeah, so he winds, he winds he people up. Yeah. Yeah. Game so yeah. game. He's not the only player to do it, you know. So. He's not the only player to do it, no. But it's uh, well, it's because he's full blooded. Yeah, yeah. You, want exactly. him, you want him. He's, yeah. Yeah. he's one someone you want on your side, you know, and you don't because want him when he makes one of those, you know. You know uh, smashing tackles into people or whatever. Gets, a, yeah. uh, Gets the people going. The, the, the other fans don't like seeing that other players or their own players hurt, yeah. which makes sense. You know? no, and one of the things that I, I, I'm not trying to justify what went on by any means on Wednesday, but there was history between James and Huddersfield and that he made it when he was he was with West Brom. He had made a terrible tackle on uh, Tom Ince. He actually should have been sent off for the tackle. Yeah. And uh, so he, he has a lot of history with their fans. Not an excuse, actually, though, Tommy, yeah. it's not an excuse, no, it's yeah. not, I mean, I'm not justifying it in any way, but uh, Tom Ince is actually, ironically, a teammate of his now. Yeah. But, um, so, there had been history from a previous game against Huddersfield, so fans do remember things like that, but is absolutely no justification yeah. for the mm-hmm. abuse. Yeah. Well, I think we'll leave it at that. I don't think there's much more kind of for us to say on that. Um, let us know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think we should do to uh, come out in support of James McLean and... Um, how can we get this to stop? Let's know your thoughts in the comments. Huge thanks to Gary, Hugh, and Gary uh, for coming on. And don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe. We'll speak to you soon. Thanks for watching.